today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the J Machen Hyperbase R1 emulation console. Now I get questions all the time. What's the best emulation handheld device emulation console out there for X amount of dollars. I like to test these things out all the time because they get better and better as the years progress and they seem to be getting cheaper and more features and more functionality overall. So the latest and greatest one we're looking at is from the company J Machen. Probably not, I've never heard of them. Uh, I think they're a new kid around the block, so to speak. You can find this on Amazon. Retail price is going to be around $140, but inside this luxurious case we get, I say luxurious, but it's actually, uh, you know, it is a nice case. I'm not trying to be facetious. Got the JM logo there on the front. Nice hard shell all the way around. Go ahead and unzip it here. Do have that little carrying handle there, but nice portable console carrying case. That way you don't have to worry about, you know, dragging everything around individually. Of course, we have our power brick does come with two USB corded controllers. And these are actually very impressive in terms of quality. Um, it's by no means gonna be as good quality as a standard peripheral Xbox or PlayStation controller, but it's not uh, the terrible quality controllers that I'm used to seeing on this. This is uh, what I would equate to like a, a Logitech USB gamepad, if you're familiar with that. Um, those have been around for years and have been pretty standard for you know people that play MAME on their PC and things like that. So. Nice, nice functionality, shoulder buttons, all the buttons feel nice and clicky. They're not super mushy or anything like that. Two sets of controllers or two controllers, excuse me. We have our user manual, of course. And then up the top, you got the little zipper connect compartment here. Let's go ahead and take this out. Looks to be the console itself. Some more cables, HDMI cable. What else we have? Ah, the remote for the Android side of things, but here it is. Console itself, very compact in nature, as you can see, about the size of your hand. We've got a little LED display on the front there. Got a USB 3.0 for controller connectivity. On the back side, we've got our power port, our HDMI out, our Ethernet in, another secondary USB port, so you can plug in the second controller. You've got SDIF as well. So you got your audio functionality and then you got your micro SD card slot. Now this does come preloaded with tens upon tens of thousands of games already on it. So more games than you'll ever, you'll ever know what to do with as far as time. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, check out the user interface and see how the games perform, shall we? All right, so here we have the user interface. And if you're familiar with Emulek, it should be very familiar. This is a standard a uh, theme that's been out for a long time, but it looks good. It's aesthetically pleasing. And as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, it says we have 91,360 games preloaded on this SD card. Now I will tell you that is slightly misleading because there's a lot of files on here that register as games, so to speak, that are actually just ROM support files. And there's a lot of files on here that don't belong. I found a lot of pinball ROMs and things like that. Well, it won't let you play virtual pinball or anything like that, but it's the ROM files necessary to perform some of the computer animation for those pinball games for whatever reason they got lumped in here so they kind of like I said flubbed up those numbers but you got all sorts of systems on here I mean everything from your very basic beginning computer games to all the way up to your more advanced systems so you have uh, your Sega Saturn your Sega Dreamcast PlayStation 1 PlayStation Portable a Thomas Wave You've got Sega Naomi. I mean, there's a lot of more advanced systems on here. Nintendo 64, performance-wise, everything for the most part does run well. I did run into some issues with uh, the default emulators being set. Not really ideal settings, so I'll give you a case in point. So let's scroll all the way over to MAME. And we'll go ahead and select MAME. And we'll pick a game. And yeah, we'll get RoboCop here. So I'll show you what I mean. And this is easy, easy to fix in the settings, but if you don't know how to do this, then this is just gonna frustrate you. So look, we tried to set Robocop, get it playing. It says ROM set is unknown. So we're gonna head back and close it. It's gonna go back to our, our game menu. And we're going to change the emulator because it is defaulting to the Final Burn Alpha emulator, which is not necessarily appropriate to run this main version of Robocrop. So the way I would change this is my select button, however you have it mapped. Uh, me personally, I have it mapped to the A button right now. So I'm gonna hold the A button. It's gonna bring up this secondary menu here. We're gonna go down to advanced game options and we're gonna select it and see emulator, how it's set to auto. 
We can go through and manually change this to the various emulators that are preloaded on here. So Advanced MAME, uh, MAME 2003, MAME 2010, Final Burn Neo, Final Burn Alpha 2012, which is essentially what this was already defaulting to, and then MAME 2016. So we'll just leave it at MAME 2016. Go down to the back and see if we can start the game up again. And it should work because it's meant to run on a MAME, MAME emulator, not a Final Burn Alpha. So if you run into any hiccups while you're playing these games or trying to play these games, go into the emulator settings and change the emulator and you'll probably have a much higher success rate. Obviously with over you know 90,000 games on here, I can't test everything, but for the most part, I've had a probably 95% success rate with everything I've played on here. Now you can load your own games if you're not happy, if you don't find something on here that you know suits your fancy. Some of the more advanced systems, some of the newer systems, PlayStation 1, things like that, they don't really have a whole lot of games preloaded on here. So if you wanted to load different games on here that are not included, you would have to pop out the SD card, load up the appropriate files into the appropriate file folder. So you'd find the PlayStation 1 ROM folder, load up your files that way, and then put it back in there and plug it in. You'd be able to play them that way. Overall menu options are easy to access. You're just gonna hit your select or menu button however you have it mapped. It's gonna bring up this option and you can go through a plethora of settings. So you can go to game settings, user interface settings. So if you don't like the theme, you can go in here and change the theme. It's defaulted on this one, but there's a secondary one called crystal. You can change that way. You can do screensaver, turn it off and on. Go ahead and change the theme just to show you how it works. It does a little quick reboot and then bada bing, bada boom. You can remap your controllers, go to controller mapping, pair Bluetooth. If you don't like the wired ones that came with the system, you can pair a Bluetooth one. Sound settings, network settings, game collection settings. Uh, you can change all sorts of appearance things. So if you don't don't want the the you know the widescreen look, you can change it to 5443, whatever is appropriate to the emulator. You can have borders on, you can have you know filters on, like scan lines, things like that if you want. Save states, load states. Rewind, all sorts of stuff, you name it. Easy, easy stuff. Like I said, the user interface is very simple. And as I mentioned, there's so many games preloaded on here. Thousands upon thousands, even with those fluff filler files on here. There's so many games you've never heard of, never experienced. So it's a good opportunity for you to go down a rabbit hole and experience them that way. You don't have to go through the internet and hunt them down. They're all on here for you. So that is super convenient. And if for whatever reason you get tired of the thousands upon thousands of games that are preloaded on here, like I mentioned previously, you can dual boot into the Android OS. So the way you do that is make sure the device is powered off. You're going to pop out the micro SD card out of the side of the machine, power on the device, and it will boot automatically into the Android operating system. It already has the Google Play Store, YouTube, Netflix, handy applications on there pre-installed. So basically all you have to do is find whatever games you wanna play, download those, play them straight from the device, and you're good to go. So let's go ahead and show you firsthand how some of these games perform on this system.
Pinned. Taking it. Azalez. He's hit hard. The save by Herbe. They score. A big goal. When it's all said and done, the Hyperbase R1 is a more than capable emulation console. I enjoyed the included controllers that are much more upgraded versus what is standardly included on these type of overseas emulation devices. The carrying case with the hard shell is a nice and convenient way to portably carry this around with the controllers, the power brick, and everything you'd possibly need to game on the go. However, there are some drawbacks that prevent this from being a perfect pick up and go for those absolute beginners. Namely, the experience I talked about where you had to switch the emulators manually on some of the games to get them to play properly. That type of thing is not exactly the most beginner friendly for those out there that are not educated or experienced with that type of emulation console setting device twist and turns. Other than that, it's a pretty handy little device and if you're interested in picking one up, I'll go ahead and put a product link down in the video description box below. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and as always, thanks for watching guys. It really means a lot.